club? Uh, I I saw another step from him all spring. You know, it's it's a lot more than just today. I thought he did a good job today. You know, um, you know, just he put some good drives together, made some good decisions. Some that maybe didn't appear to be a good decision, maybe to just a simple play, but it's a great decision as a coach when you're evaluating certain things, when there's situationally some things that he did. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm proud of him. He's been he's been really really good uh, all spring. He's been really good. So you're just getting better and better and better. You know, I think you'll continue to see that progression from him. But um, still, a lot of work to do. Your uh, five star Peter Woods last year had a really big spring game. Today, Sammy comes out first play sack. <laughs> Uh, tackle the weed and tackles eight with uh, with Wood as. Yeah, I mean he's he's a natural, you know. He's 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 still he's still grasping everything, you know. Just you got to remember this kid played every snap almost both both sides of the ball, and so you know now he's getting exposed to a lot more defensively, and uh, we, we've kept him at one spot, um, you know, all spring really trying to just hone him in. I mean he's got the speed and the talent to really play wherever, but but we're just trying to really build a good foundation from him. So it's a good group. He, he's, he's, I know he's glad that he was able to come in early and get a lot of this learning curve, you know, cut down a little bit. So now he can go attack the summer and fall camp and hopefully by September he can be in a position to help us. But, um, you know, it, it starts with Wood as and it starts with Barrett. You know, those are two really special players. And the good thing for Sammy is he's got them as a model of what it should look like. And then I'm really proud of Kobe. I think Kobe had a really good spring for us. Um, he's just, he's just a, he's just a good football player. You know, I mean, he's just a guy that lacks a few measurables, but he makes plays every day because he's because he just really has good football IQ and understands things. He's tough, he can run. Um, Jamal Anderson today, you know, he had an outstanding day, and that's what's fun about a game like this because now he's going out and you got to go start right and, and play some big big minutes and. And man, it was awesome. That was an unbelievable play uh, that he made. Uh, and then came back and made another one, but it was a penalty. So really, really happy for him. D. Creighton, D. Creighton right out of the gate, having a, having a sack as well. So uh, that whole group is, is coming together. And, um, you know, we got more on the way. Uh, Drew, Drew Wood has to be, be showing up in here. And Cooper Taylor's coming in here this summer. So I think it'll be a good little group. Uh, and, and a lot of competitive guys that, that – um, you know, have a lot to uh, chance to compete and get on the field. You talked about uh, sitting all the a lot of starters today, let the backups and early enrollees come in. I mean, and they like you said just showed out at Scott Show what the belief and the faith you had when, when they came in and why you guys went after them, especially the early. Yeah, enrollees. I mean, we we just like I said, we sat R.J. and Brenny and Barrett and Maffa. You know, those are the four. Um, and again, I I mean. I've seen a million plays of RJ and a million plays of Maffa and Brenny. I wanted to see Marcus and, and uh, Olsen, and I wanted those guys, Sap and, and my man Banks Pope. Uh, I want to give them some, some opportunity. I want to see all those safeties. I mean, we got a million safeties. Uh, and and I, I, want to, I, want to, I want to see them all play. We got young freshmen, you know, Noah Dixon and Joe. You know, Ricardo wasn't able to go today because he, he had a, he had a uh, uh, foot injury. But those kids need to play. Billings, Kyle Webb, you know, they need to go get with Venables. You know, Venables, he hasn't played football in like forever. Uh, in fact, I went up to him today and I said, man, isn't it just fun to be able to go play football? And he was having a ball out there. So it was good to see that. Um, so those were the four we didn't play. Everybody else, you know, they got a lot of work in and, and uh, got done what we needed to get done. So, Hoffler, um, yeah, and uh, awesome. Olsen, and Denver make some plays. I mean, how much better do you guys feel about defensive end? Yeah, we feel, you know, we've made good progress. we got a lot of work to do still this summer, but, you know, Chris has done a great job with those guys. Um, you know, Denhoff, he's just kind of, you know, he's our steady Eddie. He just, and, and, and he's just getting better. And the game has slowed down for him. And, you know, he's just relentless and tough. And he's just consistent, you know. Um, and he's just a guy you know you can count on. Uh, man, Jaheem's been coming. Jaheem has he's been on the rise. You know, he was a 200 and maybe I don't know. He might have been 212 when he got to Clemson. And he's just like, all right, well let's just throw him over here for a year and we'll see if he'll work and then we'll we'll revisit. Uh, and that's kind of what we did. And then this past year, you know, you started to see a little bit, um, but you know, just. Another year, so now he's going out. He's going to be a redshirt sophomore. Now he's 245 pounds. 
and he's got some athleticism. He's gotten stronger. He's 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 just got he's a savvy kid, man. And you know, I'm I'm, I'm proud of him. It's important to him. Uh, he plays with a high motor. He's tough. Um, very competitive kid, and it's good to see that. And you know, he's athletic. You know, you, you know, here he covering the wheel route. You know, out of the backfield and going up and. You know, he played wide out. Bro. I've watched him his whole life. You know, this kid has been, he and Clay the same. They've been together forever. And uh, so, you know, he, he played receiver for a long time until they finally realized you, you, you need to get on down there and let's get serious about football. Uh, but he's got athleticism, really good basketball player. So he's got a good future. But, you know, the other guy was Hoffler today. Man, his get off, I mean, he was really, he really, it was, we needed to see that. And for him to be able to go out and start today, and and to, and the to to have the I mean this kid's twitchy. He's a natural pass rusher, but he's big. You know he's bigger than Jaheim, and that you know now Jaheim's kind of closed the gap from a size standpoint to where he looks like the rest of the guys. Uh, but but Hoffer showed up here looking like you're supposed to look, and and naturally is a good pass rusher. But but the game's just got to slow down for him a little bit. And Chris, again, Chris is in it. You know he challenges that kid every day. It was good for him to have some some success there, so you know I like the group uh, for sure. Um, uh, we we uh, Peter wasn't able to go today, but you know you got Caden out there who's who's getting a lot of reps, and uh, we got Big Mayo showing up here this summer, and we got the young Kasai kid. So it's it's a group that's a work in progress. I would say uh, that position is still incomplete. Uh, we don't have Armand Mason. You know you've know, heard me talk about Armand Mason and. Armand is a kid that'll be a factor if he's healthy and he makes it back for fall. That'll be a kid that'll have a chance to get in the mix too. Uh, so, you know, it's uh, it's coming together, but you know, that group is still a little incomplete. I was just about to ask you about Boston. You looked like a DB on that pick, uh, but it was a good day for the Daniel boys. I mean, Crosby had some yeah. catches. Your son Clay had a yeah, catch. Yeah. Venables had a TFL. How much? Fun do you have watching those Daniel boys? Oh man, they're, they're, listen, that's a it's one of the best programs in this state. You know, I mean, they're well coached and they're tough, and you know, it's it's uh, it's cool when those kids have an opportunity. You know, you had Bryce Smith out there playing today. Uh, you know, obviously we got a little little, little uh, uh, you know Kyle Young uh, out there, Watson Young. He's he wasn't able to play today, but we got a bunch of great kids uh, from that program that have come in here and really done a good job for us. Yeah, what's the challenge to your team this summer? Team and leadership. You know, that's what that's what has to happen. Um, you're not gonna you're not gonna win. You win some games, but you you can't you can't win at the highest level without being an elite team. And and I'm talking about team. I'm talking about selflessness. I'm talking about servant leadership. I'm talking about caring about each other, knowing each other. Um, you know, that type of stuff. I mean, you got to be together. Um, so that's what that's a big part of what the summer's about. It's it's really being together as a team. That's how you win. That's how we win at Clemson. You know, you got to you got to really be you know, you're stronger together. And um, and then chem, you know leadership and just the chemistry that comes with that. You know, and it's not just seniors. I mean, you can be a freshman. You know, I mean, Tyler Brown was a leader the day he got here. He said he wasn't sitting around waiting on somebody to lead him. You know, he he just putting the work in and showing up every day. And so uh, leadership doesn't know an age, you know. And so all of the – just developing that across the board in all position groups, all throughout the team, I think that's a, a big part of, of every summer. Um, so excited about that process. And, and it's a part of our job as we develop that and, and create opportunities for them to lead. And uh, the, the summer is a big, big time to do that. Place kicking situation coming out of the spring. Yeah, I think I think they both did some good things, you know. And, and um, Robert had a really good spring. He he would probably just if you just we'll see what the tallies are after today. But um, I mean, they're like within a percentage point or two of each other, so it's pretty close. Uh, I think Robert might have been just on top, but you know, still got a long way to go. And then it was good to see a game today. So Hoosier goes out there and knocks down a couple of kicks. I think one of them was maybe a forty-eight yarder, and, and um, you know, Robert just just. Just getting back to creating the consistency in his game, and what was that like a 57 yard or something? And that, I, you know, he just so a little right, good pass at it. You know, he got some balls up and things like that. So he's had a good spring, um, but to be continued. 
uh, best thing I can say. We don't play till August 31st, so you know we got a long way to go, and those guys are going to continue to compete, and you know sure. we'll we'll see how it all shakes out. And uh, I think Jack Smith's had a really good spring. Our, our punter, I'm really proud of him. He's he's taken a very noticeable step with his confidence and his consistency, and then you know Aiden is just been steady at any force. You had some really good situations in this game. You had a two-minute drill at the end of the first half, uh, some goal line, go to goal to go situations, uh, third and short, fourth and short. Um, how important is it to have that in front of fans, have those situations? It's very important, and we had a lot of red zone this year, this, this this little scrimmage, which we were awful at last year, you know, and uh, so it was good to see us uh, do a good job of finishing some drives, whether it be a kick or a touchdown. Uh, you know, hanging on to the ball, not not having stupid you know penalties and things like that. So, um, you know, it's good. It's always good when you can when those things. Sometimes you manufacture that all when you're scrimmaging and stuff. We make sure we get the type of work that we need. But today, organically, some things happened that that, that was fun to, to see. There was a moment in the game where he kind of got on uh, Shelton Lewis after a personal foul turn. Uh, that was kind of like just the kind of get on the right. Yeah, he's Making just he he's a guy that plays with a lot of emotion, and I love that. You know, won't ever take that away from him. But but you can't become emotional. You know, when you're emotional, then you you get outside of yourself and you get stupid. You do stupid stuff like that. That's a very very costly penalty. It's just it's just it's just extra. Right, you, you know, and you just can't—you can't do that. You know, those are things that those are those are plays that can really cost you in close games. And uh, you know, we don't have a lot of margin for error you know, with the type of schedule that we play. You know, and those are games that, that get you beat. That, that can mean a touchdown versus a field goal. You know, so uh, just got to play with a little bit more poise. And, and he's a guy, again, he just naturally has a ton of fire, which makes him, it's one of the things I love about that kid. He's, he is, he hates to lose. He is a competitive guy. But sometimes he can kind of cross the line a little bit and become emotional. And, you know, you, you just got to channel it a little bit, a little bit uh, better at times. And you spoke on the defensive ends. How has the move to uh, Peter Woods and Cam Story to defensive kind of uplifted the defensive tackle unit? And yeah. Like it's, where you have three sacks for it's been good. Caden missed some time, so so we we just got him back. He's been out the last few practices, so it's good to get him back today. Um, that's a good move for him. You know, he'll keep progressing. I mean, Peter can play anywhere. Uh, honestly, I mean, there's really nowhere. I don't think he can play. He could go play middle linebacker if you wanted him to. Be too. He's he's just he's just one of our best football players. And uh, I hate he couldn't go today, but but um, you know he'll do what he needs to do this summer to to really build on what he did this spring. And, you know, he's he's he'll be a guy that if he's on the field, you'll you'll notice him. Uh, that's for sure. So we've got some we've got some options. We've got some flexibility within that group. And certainly Peter gives us, you know, the ability. I mean, you know, it could be some third downs, you know, long situations. He can bump inside, you know, or you maybe get want to get your best pass rushers on the field or whatever it be, may be. But he just he gives us a lot of a lot of options uh, as a football player. Coach, what's something you've seen out of Cade that you haven't compared to the, you know, years past this spring? Uh, I think just, you know, just the game slowed down for him. You know, last year you could tell that, you know, he just – uh, sometimes wasn't really paying attention to situational stuff, wants to make every play, you know, wants to you know, third, like one play today, third and 13, you know, last year he's trying to get 14 yards somewhere, you know, and today third and 13 in a, in a plus territory situation, he checks the ball down to Sapp or Olsen, I can't remember which one it was, and, you know, and, Maybe you get the first down or maybe you get fourth and one or two when you put yourself in a go for it situation or you add on to the field goal, whatever it may be. Those plays are huge, huge. And that's, that's an area that I don't think he did a good job with, especially early the first half of the season. You know, it would drive you crazy. You know, it's, it's, it's second and ten, and it was a real opportunity to make it third and three. But he's trying to, you know, hold the ball to get it to wherever because, he, you know, he's just wired that way. And, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with checking that ball down. Uh, it's right there. So maybe we don't get the first down, but it's, it's situationally now it's third and two. And uh, so it was good to see. I just, you know, that's probably the biggest thing. I just think his, his awareness 
situationally has really improved. I, I just think it's a product of the game has slowed down from him. He's been through some battles. He's been, just got some experience. And, you know, he's kind of come out the other side bruised and scarred and calloused. Uh, and that's now he's, he's, he's got a little different perspective. And that's, that's serving him well. So he's a great kid. He's, he's a relentless worker and, uh, and really, really talented. So I'm, I'm excited because I know he's going to go do what he needs to do this summer. He's, I, think he's, I think he's 204, and uh, he'll probably come back probably around 210 or so. Uh, so just he's just kind of transforming, you know, and maturing uh, right before our eyes. And I think he's going to make a lot of big plays, have a lot of big wins for for his for his time is up here at Clemson. Looks like Linda come in and Keith Adams both got a little banged up. They both okay. I think everybody's okay. I don't I don't, I don't you know nobody's brought anything to me of any anything significant that could change between t today and tomorrow. But uh, I think I think we're okay. You made it a point about. Um, when some pre past press conferences about the talent that you have at running back and the amount of people that you have there, and coming into the spring game and in the spring game, seeing those players like Jarvis, seeing uh, Strecko, seeing those guys not get tons of yards, but also <clears throat> see their skills on the field. How do you think? What do you think you saw out of those guys? How do you feel about it? Well, first of all, how about a little Strecko? <laughs> you know, I mean, he's just a just tough, gritty kid. You know, he's got ability. He's a D one guy. You know, he had an opportunity to go to military academies and. And he decided he, he was going to not do that and wanted to walk on at Clemson. And, um, you know, if he sticks with it, he'll be a guy, you know, that'll, that'll help this football team. I mean, he's a talented kid. Um, so, you know, good to have him and good for him to get an opportunity today. Uh, probably wouldn't have got as much opportunity if Moff was playing. So it's good for him to be able to show, hey, look, you know, I'm getting better. And, and he is. Uh, but, you know, Keith Adams has had an awesome spring for us. Um, you know, he made a little play out there today on a screen that he extended and ended up getting the first down on. Um, and those are the things that's good to see from him. He's, he's done a better job of catching the ball. Um, but he's, a, he's, a, he's a, a, a guy that's definitely positioned himself to help us. Jarvis, same thing. You know, you can just kind of count on Jarvis um, to be where he's supposed to be, doing what he's supposed to do. And, and, um, and then Easy e you know, it was a, the good thing for him is – Jay Haynes was out, so he was able to really probably get a lot more work. Um, and, um, you know, he's taking advantage of that. And early part of spring, man, you could tell like, it, it, it was spinning. But the latter part of the spring, he, he's, he's, he took some steps forward. So big summer for him. And then, um, you know, hopefully we'll have Jay Haynes ready to roll come fall camp. He's a guy that, that we're all eager to see um, in, in some live work. A.B. Allen had a great freshman season last year, uh, picked up right where he left off today, big tackle on dirt and one to force a punt. Yeah, yeah, he's a baller. You know, he's just a kid that knows how to play. Knows how to play, loves to play, hates to win, ultra competitive. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's just, he's a guy I'm really, really glad is on our team because I, I know what I'm going to get from A.B. Allen every single day, every single play. And, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of good days ahead for him. Coach, there was 21 tackles for loss recorded today. How do you plan on cleaning that up uh, from an offensive line perspective over the summer? Well, we'll put our team together. That'll help uh, <laughs> for sure. Uh, that, that's always helped. It's kind of, that's one of the things, you, when you know you're good on defense, it's one of those things you can probably expect when you, when you split your team. Uh, you got, and you got some, some guys not out there as well. But that's the biggest thing. Uh, but you got to go play, you know. You got to go play and, and you know expose guys and you teach guys and, and, and things like that. But um, just put it all together, uh, you know. Go go, a lot of lot of work to do this summer from a technique, fundamental skills and drills stuff. I think if you really like, you know, y'all don't get to see our grades, but if you really look at like our grades, for example, in that position, you know, the the one thing that's a real positive is. They're grading at a high level from an assignment standpoint. Like most of I mean, them, they know what to do. Like they're doing a really good job, like high level grades. But then when you look at their technique grade, you know, we got some of them that are, you know, they're down here. And so uh, a lot of work that we need to do from a technique standpoint, a fundamental standpoint, a footwork standpoint, you know, maybe it's just uh, understanding. Uh, a little bit more of a bigger picture, and so you can anticipate from a launch standpoint, things like that. 
Uh, so that, that's some of the stuff we got to do. But the main thing is just you know be together as a group, and, and um, you know we'll, we'll have we'll have a shot. I think during the spring we heard a lot about Wesco, his ability to track the ball um, in the air, make good ball skills. I guess that over the shoulder catch is that something you've seen and yep. you practice a lot. Yeah, we have seen it a lot. Um, yeah, he's done a great job. Uh, really, really proud of that kid in the spring that he had. He's definitely uh, put himself in position to help us. Got to have a big summer, you know. I mean, this is it's a long season, and right now he's not built for it. Uh, we got, he's got a lot of work to do between now and August. Uh, the good news is it's not like he's got to go and you know play 70 snaps and things like that. I mean, we got, we're going to be a deep group. We're going to when we get, when we put it all together, it's going to be an impressive. It's going to be an impressive group of dudes uh, when it's all said and done. You know, as good as we've been in a, in a, in a while, I believe if, if you know if we keep it all together, they stay healthy. So, you know, but he's a guy that's he's going to be a factor. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, and he's already I think he's already gained about seven eight pounds since he got here. Um, you know, so big summer, kind of building a little bit more of a foundation for him, and then. Um, Naturally, he, he does stuff, you know, uh, from a technique standpoint, he does not He does it naturally. And uh, so that's the thing I'm most excited about. He's a very committed kid. Uh, but even today, you know, early on in the game, you know, just a, he gets widened out, you know, and, and, and he hadn't really seen that. And then all of a sudden he misses a block. Uh, it happens fast. And so this was a big day. He'll make big strides from today. And then what do you do? He settled down, made a couple of couple, couple – Tough catches, a contested catch, break a tackle, little yards after the catch. Obviously, the big touchdown catch. Uh, so he's got excellent ball skills and and you know a great frame and a great body. Uh, you know that that we can really you know build uh, from this point forward. Take about two, three more for coach. If anybody has any. What do you think about the head coaching jobs of, <clears throat> of Coach Goodwin and Riley uh, today? Well, Coach Riley won, so that's all that matters, right? Uh, no, that's great. It's a great opportunity for those guys, you know, and, uh, you know, for Kyle calling the plays on the other side, too. And, and uh, you know, they stole Harris from. We had an in game portal move. Uh, <laughs> you know, took Harris right off their team. Uh, that didn't help them. Uh, but uh, it's good. Good for Harris to, and Trent today to get all those reps. Uh, snapping at center was really good. Uh, so. You know, they, it was fun. It's fun to be able to split the staff like that. It's a good experience for them. Good, good development opportunity. I think it's how big of a play was that high point by Josh Sapp, Josh Sapp in terms of like, you know, his confidence and building. Himself. Yeah, he's just, you know, he's a guy that, again, I don't know, two-star recruit or whatever. Uh, but he's a baller. That kid can play. He can play. He's he's gonna help us. Uh, he made some plays last year, but just a kid that knows how to play the game. You know, you have heard me say this many times. He's played about every position. He, he, you know, I watched him growing up. He played quarterback. He played tight end. He played receiver. He played safety. He played linebacker. He played DN. Uh, he just, he just understands the game. Played running back. I mean, he's done it all. So, just savvy, savvy kid that, that knows how to play. That was a big time play. You know, he just does things with a lot of confidence. Uh, so he's had a great spring and, and a guy that, that I'm certainly excited about. Um, you know, being able to be a guy we can count on week in, week out. So final question here. Just for thoughts on CV. You, t you talked about kind of wanting to get him into a competitive environment like this. Yeah, had a really good spring. Had a really, really good spring. He's going, you know, we'll see the tape, a couple of those plays um, he'd like to have back today. But uh, really good spring. And today was good for him. Uh, it was good for him. He's a big kid. He's got a big arm. Uh, he's, he's very accurate uh, with the ball. And, um, you know, just, just, Proud of his development, proud of what we were able to get done with him, and uh, made a lot of plays this spring with his legs as well. And you know, today was a, a good opportunity for him. It's been a while since he's played in a game, so that was really good for him. All right, thanks, coach. Okay.